Andrew Jackson and His Indian Wars, by Robert V. Ramini is a comprehensive exploration of the complex relationship between the seventh President of the United States, Andrew Jackson, and the indigenous peoples of North America during the early 19th century. Through a careful examination of historical records and a nuanced narrative, Ramini provides readers with a deep understanding of Jackson's policies and actions concerning Native American tribes, shedding light on a controversial chapter in American history. The book begins by setting the stage for Jackson's presidency, detailing his rise from humble beginnings to becoming a military hero in the War of 1812. Ramini emphasizes Jackson's fierce determination and unwavering commitment to defending American interests, a trait that would play a significant role in his dealings with Native American nations. One of the central themes of the book is Jackson's approach to Native American policy, particularly his support for westward expansion and his belief in the inevitability of white settlement. Ramini skillfully portrays Jackson's conviction that the Native American tribes should be relocated to lands west of the Mississippi River to make way for American expansion. This policy, which culminated in the infamous Indian Removal Act of 1830, led to the forced removal of thousands of Native Americans from their ancestral lands along the Trail of Tears. Ramini presents a balanced account of the motivations behind Jackson's actions, highlighting both his desire to protect American citizens and his disregard for the rights and sovereignty of indigenous peoples. Throughout the narrative, Ramini delves into the complex web of alliances and conflicts that characterize the relationships between various Native American tribes and the United States government. He discusses how Jackson navigated these intricate dynamics, often employing a combination of diplomacy, coercion, and military force to achieve his goals. The book offers a detailed account of the Creek War and the Battle of Horseshoe Bend, where Jackson's leadership played a pivotal role in defeating the Creek Nation. Ramini also sheds light on Jackson's interactions with the Cherokee Nation, focusing on the Cherokees' efforts to resist removal through legal means. The author portrays the tension between Jackson's administration and the Supreme Court, particularly in the case of Worcester v. Georgia, where the court ruled in favor of the Cherokee nation's sovereignty. Jackson's famous response, John Marshall has made his decision, now let him enforce it, highlights his determination to pursue his Indian removal policy despite legal obstacles. The narrative skillfully captures the human suffering and tragedy that accompanied Jackson's policies. The forced removal of Native American tribes from their ancestral lands, as depicted by Ramini, was a harrowing ordeal marked by hardship, disease, and death. The book provides a poignant account of the Trail of Tears, underscoring the devastating consequences of Jackson's actions on indigenous communities. One of the strengths of Ramini's work is his ability to present a balanced portrayal of Andrew Jackson. While he acknowledges Jackson's military prowess and leadership qualities, he does not shy away from critiquing his policies and actions. This balanced approach allows readers to form their own judgments about Jackson's legacy. In addition to the political and military aspects of Jackson's Indian policy, the book also delves into the broader social and cultural context of the era. Ramini discusses the prevailing attitudes of white Americans toward Native Americans and the role of racism in shaping government policies. He also examines the missionary movement and the efforts of individuals like Samuel Worcester to advocate for the rights of indigenous peoples. Andrew Jackson and His Indian Wars is a meticulously researched and well-written account of a critical period in American history. Robert V. Ramini's narrative style keeps the reader engaged throughout, and his nuanced portrayal of Jackson's actions and their consequences adds depth to our understanding of this complex figure.
The book serves as a valuable resource for anyone interested in the history of Native American relations in the United States and the legacy of Andrew Jackson's presidency.